I start thinking about my marketing for 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 Christmas uh, in in October. I'm like right like right now I'm already I'm already visualizing what I'm going to be doing to my shop for Christmas. Um, and you can't think about it uh, December 1st, I mean the 25th is there. So you have to start to get the best out of your, your marketing, you got to start like in September, October, get it get it going. In November, you create it. December, the first of December, it's displayed. Why? Because now you got 25 days of of advertising that you're able to do. What are the biggest months of the year? Is it around the holidays? Where are the holidays? They're Thanksgiving and they're Christmas. Those are your biggest holidays. This is where you get a lot of different people. Myself, okay, I have during the Christmas holidays, I have over 10,000 people that come by my shop. And that's guaranteed. Why? Because I'm on the trolley car. And there's 8,000 people that, that take the trolley car ride. And then there's about 2,000 people that follow the trolley car. What do I do? I do a big display, Christmas display. Okay, I'm known for that. Why am I known for that? That's my advertising. That's my advertising budget for the year. How many clients do I get off of that? God knows how many clients I get off of that. Because I take the time to create. And this Christmas, everybody should start thinking about creating. Put a Christmas tree up in your, in your shop. Okay? And when do you put that Christmas tree up? The day after Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving, you put it up. You start your Christmas decorations, get them up. So what does it put people in that mood of Christmas? Okay, people start seeing these things. And so that's what they get the feeling of, hey, you're into the Christmas spirit. Okay, so it creates a new, a new ideas in, in, in your clients. But that's how you get noticed. And that's what I use as my advertising budget. It works. A hairdresser up in, in, uh, in Orkin. Well, she came down here and she called me up. She goes, I would like to get uh, a consultation from you uh, on how to decorate my shop. Well, it was already December 2nd. Well, you're a little late. So, okay, so I gave her the ideas and, and, and she spent the money for my consultation. And so she and her mother went back up. Uh, they weren't able to do everything in which I suggested that they're able to do. but. Now she has it because it's in her brain that she'll start on this in November. And by December 1st, it's up. So now she's got those 25 days of having this Christmas decorations up. But then you keep the de Christmas decorations up until the first of the year. So now you've got a full month of Christmas decorations and people are noticing your shop. Why? It's because, hey, that's different. And so, wow, it's a barber shop. Oh, it's, it, it, so these are the little things that you create and do to get you on the map. Eat things. You know what I'm saying? People say, well, you're so small. I didn't even know, like that guy, I've known you, you've been here for a while. I mean, I had guys come by. I didn't know you were here. Why? Because I'm a little shop. I'm only and not even eight, eight feet wide. And so you drive by in your car, you're not going to see me. Right? You're not looking for me. I mean, you're not going to see me. I'm only eight feet wide. But if I have a big Christmas decorations and I have all my things up, you're going to go, whoa, what is that? So then you'll come back. You're curious and you're going to come back.